Hello everyone and happy Easter. Thanks for tuning in today's uh, video on your Easter Sunday afternoon. We're doing the 10 to 14 day uh, uh, for today's uh, video. So we're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the external GFS and ECM on doubles. Very much rather than weeks. We'll have a look at CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. And that will get us... Um, to the beginning of May, I shall get on that for you in a moment. Just to say that first video today was the 6 a.m. upload, and we've also released Solar Sunday, the once a year event of uh, Solar Sunday, has been uh, released today on Easter Sunday. Solar Sunday on Easter Sunday. So, uh, check that one out if you'd like to do that. Thanks so very much, everybody. Um, but dear man, I hope you have a lovely Easter day. What a day, isn't it? Absolutely lovely out there. Uh, very warm as well. Warmest day of the year so far co coinciding with uh, Easter Sunday. Lovely. How lovely. Uh, have a lovely day, everyone. Okay, let's have a look at the section temperature. The CT is currently sitting at 7.9, which is about bang on the 61 to 90, 90 average. That is provisional to uh, 8th of the, of the month, to yesterday. So uh, the first week of the month has been about average, probably a little bit below, uh, if you were to set that against the more modern averages, I suppose. Means of a GFS upgrade temperature and precipitation ensembles for next couple of weeks. We're at London today. The red line is at the 30 year upper air temperature average for London, starting off a little bit above average at the moment. The upper air temperature is going to drop actually through the next few days as it turns more unsettled. Um, now we head on into the second half of April. There's a definite warm up going on there through the third week of the month. We could see the temperature lifting up into the 20s Celsius for the first time this season. I think sometime around the 19th to the 21st of April. It doesn't look like it'll last all that long. Uh, beyond that, towards the final week of April, it's actually cooled down. That we see going on there. So it's about four or five days of uh, quite warm weather by the look of it for the third week of the month. And then things cooling back down again. Of course, that's extended range. That's a long way off. So maybe that warm weather will uh, uh, will um, turn out to be more uh, robust and you know longer lasting than it appears on the graph at the moment. Precipitation wise, there will be further bouts of rain to come. So uh, plenty of wet weather will be on the way over the uh, coming few days. It's going to start turning and settled as early as this evening actually in the west and that wet weather will be spreading eastwards overnight and they've got more rain to come through we care this such uh, warmer period looks like it's also uh, turning drier as well so we should see things becoming drier and warmer in the third week of the month and then it's not turning more unsettled again perhaps as we get towards the final week of april but again re-emphasizing that is a long way off it's there for very unreliable extended range Temperature normally is from the night to the 17th of April, going to be a little bit below average across most parts of the UK, Ireland, and also Western Europe. Precipitation anomaly is from the night to the 17th of April. They're coming out that average, still a little bit wetter than average, especially so in the northern half of the country. Related to wind from that from EarthNordStool.net shows that uh, we bring up a southerly wind today, so that's the reason that it's quite warm out there, but it is ahead of the next area of low pressure and its weather front, and that weather front will be pushing was across the country tonight and into tomorrow. Turning things unsettled. And look at this chart that we're facing for midnight on Wednesday. A dark board low sitting over the top of the country. Very unsettled with the UK Met Euro run for uh, midnight on Wednesday. Dark board low, outbreaks of rain, strong winds, gale force winds, severe gales, and probably snow on the northern side of the low. <laughs> so you name it, it's all likely to be happening midweek. That low pressure sticks around the country through into Thursday as well. More low pressure then heading in through the end of the week, but high pressure starting to build up to our north and uh, northeast, trying to break us out of this unsettled weather. But even up to next Sunday, 16th, another weather system is starting to move in from off the Atlantic then. I can't again that dark board low over top of the country on Wednesday, so heavy showers, lots of bells, rain. Uh, you name it, it's going to be happening through to the end of the week, so it's unsettled. But next weekend, ICON then starts to build some higher pressure towards France. And this is where it could start turning drier and warmer, especially so down in the south and southeast. But northwest still like to be quite unsettled with those west-southwest winds bring further outbreaks of rain. But down in the south and southeast, we just get a little bit of transient reach starting to build. That might develop into an area of high pressure if we go on a few more days beyond that and turn us dry and warm, at least for uh, a few days through the third week of uh, April. 
GFS Midnight Run, again with that dark board low over the top of the country, uh, that sticks around into Thursday as well. Then into the end of week stays unsettled. By the weekend, higher pressure starts ridging up from the south, breaks us out of this uh, unsettled weather. And so, look at this, the uh, GFS Midnight Run develops a large area of high pressure over and to the east of the country by uh, day 9, 18th of April. And that is a proper area of high pressure. And it is also a warm area of high pressure as well. It's come up from the south rather than building down from the north. So that would have warm air with it. And uh, I reckon that could get the temperature into the uh, low 20s Celsius, 21 degrees, first 70 Fahrenheit of the year possible there with that area of high pressure, I think. It doesn't last very long. The high pressure by 20th of April is already showing signs of being on the moon and pushing out to our west. And um, beyond that, we start to bring down cooler northwesterly winds into that area of high pressure. So it's only like two or three days of uh, significantly warmer weather. And then it starts turning cooler again. High pressure pulls away, actually goes up towards Canada <laughs> by the 25th of April. And this low looks a little bit ominous to bring unsettled weather. But, 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 let's not, um, you know, let's not uh, um, write off the, the, the scenario that we are going to get if that's right, uh, a couple of days of much drier and warmer weather, probably about four days. Uh, GFS 6 then, again, that dark board low across the country on Wednesday, so it's very unsettled into Thursday as well, and those unsettled conditions continue into the weekend. However, by Sunday, higher pressure begin to ridge up from the south, so the GFS 6 days also in line with big bike run as high pressure takes over across the country and to our east. We bring in this warm southeasterly flow. Again, I reckon temperatures could go to the low 20s with that sometime around the 18th, 19th of April. We might get our first 20 degrees of the year. Again, doesn't last all that long. By the 20th of April, the high pressure is pulling out into the Atlantic as a cold front. Pushing south east, so that will be ending the warm spell <laughs> quite, uh, uh, you know, quite uh, quickly. However, we do get a couple of warmer, drier days, and then we go into this northerly wind and uh, turns much cooler and settled as well. Actually, turns colder and unsettled as well with showers or longer spells of rain. We end up though with high pressure back in over the top of the coast. That's quite a cool ridge, though up to that point as the air established has been coming from the north and from the northwest. But high pressure back in by the 25th of April as far as we get to G with the GFS. If you enjoyed the video, then please thank you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so very much everybody for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Weather Vids. Gals Weather Vids even. It's amazing. It's incredible. Thank you so very much everybody uh, for uh, for doing that for us and uh, thank you so much. I hope you're having a lovely, lovely Easter day. Right, GM again with low pressure across the country on um, where are we with that? Low pressure across the country on Wednesday. Right, so what have I done there? I'm going to do this manually. Right, so uh, this is how a Thursday looks. Again, low pressure through the country, very unsettled conditions with that one and more low pressure coming in through Friday and into the end of the week as well, keeping things uh, mixed. High pressure beginning to start reaching up from the southwest in a week's time. Um, still quite unsettled though up to uh, next Sunday. What happens after that? Let's have a look. Well, high pressure then lifts in uh, from the south. Here it comes. Turning things drier and warmer. Uh, uh, GEM is also settling things down through the third week of the um, of April and bring up this warm southerly southeasterly flow. Again, it doesn't look like it'll last all that long. Got low pressure waiting in the winds already by the 19th of April. Looks like that's going to be heading in. But wind is from the south and from the southeast. I reckon, again, like 20 uh, Celsius, the first 20 21 Celsius of the season is possible there. ECM, again, with that dark board low over the country on Wednesday. Uh, stays unsettled through to the second half of next week as well. This low could bring more heavy rain down into the south. Uh, after that, though, high pressure again, ridging to our south and east. Very well supported, this, isn't it? The high pressure to be building over and to the east of the country and drawing up this uh, southerly southeast. You throw back day 10. Again, looks uh, really nice out. We've got high pressure way to our east. Bring up a southerly southeast. You throw the air 
should be uh, quite warm. Let's have a look at the upper air temperatures. Yeah, we've got plus 10 Celsius for the country. Definitely 20, 21 Celsius possible with that. Maybe even a little bit higher, possibly 22, 23. You wouldn't rule out. So, um, uh, yeah, you know, proper, proper uh, good agreement here. Cross model agreement for this uh, development through uh, the third week of April. So drier and warmer. Goodness gracious me. Uh, right, okay, let's have a look at the precipitation type forecast basis on that each ever from tobeshow.com. Here comes the wet weather coming in from the Atlantic later today, tonight, and then showering into tomorrow. Um, more rain piling in Tuesday into Wednesday. Look at that. Big area of low pressure. Spring through the country. So that even turns to snow. In the north, a little bit further south, there's some winchiness in the showers. Well, well, well. Um, then beyond that, another batch of heavy rain down the south at the end of next week. That's the last one, though. Then the wet weather starts getting pushed off to the north and the west as high pressure takes over across the continent and things turn drier. So by day 10, just a few showers left through central areas. They might be a little bit heavy and thundering. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10. Hold on, that's not right. That's for Marching Key. There we go. That looks better, I think. Right. <laughs> Good job I noticed that. These are the options on the table within the ECM. I forget that happened. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10. It gets us to the 19th of April. From the Icelandic Met Office, 23 members of the ECM on some of control and the operational run, building high pressure to our east with low pressure out to west. Should be mostly dry and warm with that winds coming in from a southerly direction. Night 16, members of the ECM on some with low pressure away to our north and west. High pressures over France. That's a little bit more unsettled for more northern areas. And then 12 have a large area of high pressure over top of the country. It's going up towards Scandinavia. It will be mostly dry with that. Could be a little bit cooler if wind is coming in from an easy direction, but it should be pleasant anyway. And then in two week time, these are the options that we've got. This will get us to the 24th of April. 20 members of the ECM ensemble set high pressure over top of the country, mostly dry with that. 14, again, with high pressure over and to the east of the country, mostly dry and warm there with winds coming up. A southerly direction, uh, 10 with high pressure to our southwest, low pressure to our northeast. All winter coming in from more of a northwesterly direction, and then seven with low pressure in from off the Atlantic. Of course, that's going to be the most unsettled option, but only seven going uh, with that. A mo the majority option, the 20 there and the 14 there, and even to some degree for 10 here, the vast majority option is actually for high pressure still being influential at two weeks out. A little bit different to the GFS, actually. Uh, right, let's just have a look at the CFSB2, and then we're done. These are 500 millibar height anomalies, breaking down into weeks periods. The first week period will take us from the 9th to 15th of April. The coming week will have a low pressure heading in from off the Atlantic, so it remains unsettled. Big change in week two, though. This is the 16th to the 22nd of April. High pressure men ridges up from the southwest, turn things mostly dry, and it should be warm. Week three! <laughs> You're going to be the 23rd to 29th of April. Low pressure to the north, high pressure uh, to the south. Winds coming in from a westerly direction. So that looks a little bit unsettled again. And then uh, week four is the 30th of uh, April, 6th of April. High pressure back again. So uh, that turns things drier and warmer once more as we go through the first week of May. We might be starting to see a change here towards higher pressure uh, becoming just generally more influential. Um, so could that be setting things up for the early part of the summer, maybe? We're going to wait and see about that, of course. All right, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell friends about Gareth Wormitz. I mean, thank you so very much, everybody, um, for uh, doing that for us. Right, I'll just tell you what's happening tomorrow on the channel. So, we are going to have a 6 a.m. upload to begin with. And then, uh, 6 a.m. UK web forecast. And then, uh, we will have our historic video, our bank holiday money historic video. We're looking at the very severe 
really dry winter of 1894-1895 for um, that one. And uh, it's an interesting watch. I shall say no more. It will be released at 10 a.m. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. I'll be having the day off tomorrow. So <laughs> I'm going to have a bit of a rest. Uh, and then we'll be back on Tuesday with all of regular videos and content. Yeah, enjoy the rest of your Easter Sunday. Don't, uh, you know, don't overdo the Easter eggs and whatnot. But have a nice day, or what's left of it. And uh, for this one, that's all for now. And thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.